Alaska, day two of Planet Fitness Saga. I came in Monday, there's a man in the women's locker room shaving. A little girl sitting in the corner, she could have been 12 years old, I don't know how old she was, in a towel, kind of freaked out that there's a man shaving in her locker room. Well, I was offended, I took a picture of him and I asked him, why are you there? You're a man with a penis, why are you in the women's locker room? And he justified by saying, I'm queer LGB, and I said, you shouldn't be in the women's locker room. Well, I left. And um, as I said this morning, I got canceled. Planet Fitness is defending the man in the women's locker room, the man with the penis, rather than the child sitting in the corner with a towel wrapped around her. So people, I just want you to know, this is weird, it's not good. Good morning at eight, but uh, it, it's, it's rather disturbing. So I would like for you women to stand up and have a voice and stop the shenanigans. You have authority. Use your authority. I took that picture because I was, I was, I felt like I was in a, I felt like I was in an unsafe space. And so I'm probably going to go report this to the police today, but I just want to tell Samantha and Joe that work there and own it, thank you so much for canceling my membership. You saved me the trip. Have a great day. Bye-bye. We're going to protect the women and we're going to protect the children. And part of that umbrella of being a woman or a woman is trans women included. Like it or not, trans women and trans men are being included in those spaces. Okay? Y'all don't want to accept it, but that's how, the, that's how the world is ticking right now. Okay? You know, once I was a child, you know what I'm saying, a trans child, and I had to see certain things and endure certain things from my heteronormative society and things of that nature. And we know how to act in public and we know how to act out of public. Now, here's an incident where this female had spotted a trans person in the bathroom. Not all trans people look trans. They identify with trans they are in the process some of people are in their process of going through the hormone therapy going through getting facial feminization going through getting breasts going through getting their bodies done and things of that nature so they can feel more comfortable and um, acceptable by society and things of that nature when we are in certain spaces and things of that nature now we have this woman who went out of her way to make a trans person feel uncomfortable in the planet fitness gym by um, speculating that he was in there or she was in there they, she called him a he but I think it was more so a she. I identify my girls as she. When they say they are she, that's how I take them. But when she was in the bathroom with the towel around her, you know, shaving, and, and people assumed that she was shaving her face, she could have been shaving her legs. A lot of women in there shaving and plucking and doing things in the bathroom, in these private spaces of gyms and, 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 and saunas and spas and whatever, not, whatever they are, you know, these pay, they pay their money to do that. And there's certain clauses and certain guidelines that you must adhere to when you are signing on to go to that gym or be in these public spaces and things of that nature. So she could not take it and she um ma made a ruckus or she took a picture of this trans person and tried to make a ruckus of it now it surprised me that i had followers that was agreeing with this lady and i've been trans ever since i've been on social media okay and y'all should know me better than that i'm advocating for children i'm advocating for women i'm tra advocating for lgbtq unbic beyonce noodle camel noodle soups community all of it that falls up under the rain i'm advocating for everybody if you're wrong you got damn wrong now this woman at uh, danny danny boo my world danny boo my world Come, coming down my goddamn timeline. Now, you know it's not okay for a grown man to be in a locker room with a child. Now, we heard the video where the lady said that she don't know if the girl was 12 or she don't know how old the girl was, but that was in there while the trans person was in there shaving or doing whatever they were doing in their private space and things of that nature. We already don't know. So you just assuming you just making shit up because you don't want to share that space and you have some type of disdain or some type of, you know, malice for a trans person or you don't understand it. Just say you don't understand, sis, instead of making all these goddamn excuses. Wrapped in a towel. Protect grown ass man. He don't identify. She doesn't identify as a man. She identifies as she. So you don't want to get relinquish that title. You don't want to share womanhood with this trans person that's obviously identifying and obviously presenting as she. You know, this is ridiculous. And yes, kids go to the gym, especially if they have sports, just making up shit. The woman didn't say nothing about sports in the video. I ain't said nothing about sports or nothing. Even if he wasn't being appropriate, inappropriate, even if he still continues to call this person, misgender this person, and call this person a he when the person 
says they are a she and they are in the females, you know, locker room and things of that nature. And the gym is allowing this and they have protocol for that to happen, that to occur in the gym. Even if he was being inappropriate tra um, traditionally, it's not okay for different genders to be in private spaces together, especially when it's a child. Okay, so y'all so worried about the children. Y'all ain't up in arms about these, the 11 year old that just got stabbed by the mom's boyfriend who just got out of prison and came to the house and um, abused, was abusing the mom and the little boy stepped in. Y'all ain't upset about that, but y'all upset what's between somebody's legs and how people live and how people identify. Y'all, it's a backwards ass, thinking ass motherfuckers. I'm gonna, gonna say it. And then we have another comment coming down my um, timeline, lost in love, saying, now I love you down. And y'all got to watch when people say they love you and all that kind of stuff and don't know you. Y'all got to watch their motives because people have motives behind it. I love you, but but never comes after love, daughter. OK, that's one thing. And you I, I look at trans as women. OK, you look at trans, but at trans as women, but a man. See how you going to look at a trans person and this person is telling you that they're trans. You're going to revert and and, 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 and and go back and renege and say, oh, but this man. The person is telling the gym, I identify as she. The person is obviously in the girl's bathroom. The person obviously have a girl's name. The person obviously is allowed to go in those spaces with females and things of that nature. And if it makes you feel uncomfortable, don't go to the gym or either do not use the bathroom or be in those private spaces. Y'all just making shit up now. And that's why I get offended. I learned from my girlfriend a long time ago, Miss Tammy P.A. She said, know when to be offended. Now, that offends me. Don't throw you love me in my face and then, goddamn it, don't understand who I am. How? That's backwards, sis. You need to, fi you need to fix that, not me. But anywho, we digress. And play in the face of a woman's bathroom in front of a child, a 12-year-old. The woman already stated that I don't know. The, the girl looked 12 in the bathroom. Why is a 12-year-old, uh, you know, in a bathroom with women or men unattended? Or You know what I'm saying? I was 12. I was in the bathroom with women and stuff. And I've seen, I've seen all kinds of things. And it, did, it had nothing to do with me being sexual or those people or those women or men being sexual with me. That had nothing to do with nothing. Y'all just making shit up. Just so y'all can just continuously hate on trans people or continuously have trans people up in arms about who they are and have to explain who they are. And this mostly be coming from black women. OK, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go and say it. But anyway, um, women's bathroom with a child, 12 year old wrapped in a towel um, in a corner, horrified at, at that jag. Come on. Now, see, that's what the white woman got on the video and said that the child was horrified. The woman didn't even know if the child was 12 or whoever. Doesn't even know if that was a child. She just knew that it was somebody in that bathroom minding their own goddamn business, taking care of themselves, shaving, which that that is what women do in those bathrooms. I've been in there, okay? I've been in women's bathrooms and stuff like that with all this jiggly and wiggly. I've been in the gym. And women's bathroom and women's spaces. Women's have the they y'all have the most nastiest, funkiest, filthiest bathrooms. And y'all be up in there shaving pussies, cats, legs, and on the necks, backs, and everything. You women shave. That's what women do. That person identifies as woman because that don't look like a woman to you, and you know what's between that person's legs. Do not give you the right to invade their privacy or their space or make a scene or cause a ruckus or cause they make their life harder than what it needs to be. People are living, people are growing, people are doing what they feel. They heart that is right for them. Nobody is not making no excuses for y'all hoes no more. Nobody ain't backing down from you hoes no more. Ain't nobody is pitter patting it and goddamn it titter tottering around the tulips for you hoes no more. You just gonna have to accept life as it currently is. If nobody ain't touching you, bothering you, disrespecting you, cussing you out, calling you out your name, messing with your children in your space. Leave folks alone, especially people who say they are living their life and trying to do better in their transition and trying to be who they say they are. Leave people people alone mind your own goddamn business so the lady is got out of the gym or whatever she's not in the gym or they kicked her out of the gym planet fitness you did your big one you did your big one of uh, discriminate you cannot discriminate against people their sex religion gender identity or whatever in those they people in there trying to work on themselves work on their health make themselves feel better about themselves and we got some bitch making a narrative formulating a narrative and got women up in arms about we need to stop this mess we got real biological females that are up in arms and feel, oh, oh there's a man in my bed. I know you hoes are uncomfortable. Y'all got to give up and share that space. I'm sorry. You got to share that space. If I had to share that space with y'all and stuff like that and certain things that I do, I share your man. <laughs> Shit, bitch. <laughs> 
So how you doing, baby? So I share a space. <laughs> I share your man. <laughs> so why can't I share your bathroom? Sis, you're not the only one in this world that is existing in that female and, uh, uh, role. You're not the only one. Leave, let that alone. Don't be, y'all always trying to be up under people's skirt and jump. And reason why this shit really affects me because it affects me personally. I was in a female's bathroom. That's the gender that I think that I am and I want to be called and I want to be addressed as her, her, or hers. And I was in a female's bathroom at the casino at this uh, in Palm Springs. And I was minding my business. I wasn't bothering nobody. I wasn't looking at nobody. I used the bathroom. And then I got came out of the bathroom and washed my hands and was about to leave the bathroom. This drunk bitch came up in the bathroom and went up under my skirt and grabbed my penis, sexually assaulted me. It wasn't a man. It was a female with a pussy, with a vagina, with a titties, with ovaries, with labia. Came up in there, rest up about you a man and pulling at my dick. I could have twirled that bitch. I could have spat in her eyes. I could have kicked that hole in her tummy. I could have pushed her. I didn't do none of that. I went out of the bathroom, got the officer, and, and told him what the woman was doing. And she asked me, did I want to press charges? I said, no, but just teach her a lesson because everybody ain't going to let you come up there and sexual assault and touch on them. You know what I'm saying? My gender is what it is. My identity is what it is. It has nothing to do with you. Okay? I'm not coming to hurt and harm nobody. Okay? How many trans people have been in the bathroom touching on your children? Let's stop making up narratives. Okay? How many people that you see walking around with titties at the top, dick at the bottom, in bathrooms, fucking and sucking and licking on you? Okay? Let's keep it real. Let's, let's keep it real. Stop creating shit to make other people's lives more harder than it is and rallying up to formulate and try to fight trans people or try to discard trans people or try to hide and bamboo you know you know all that kind of stuff. stop it it's not cute females y'all think that's cute it's not cute bitch it don't get you no cool points you're not winning bitch okay sorry you're not winning no kind of cool points when you have to figure out a way to goddamn it discredit a, a, a bar or get a bitch a, a trans person a, 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 out of existence it does nothing but make us more famous more popular people are more curious about us want to see us want to be intrigued but it don't do nothing for you sis it just said you got bad pussy that's that's all it said if i was a female i ain't no need i'm looking to the left or the right fucking with nobody who ain't fucking with me i don't give a goddamn what you identify in i'm not looking at you hoes to to to, to, to do all that with you hoes I'm a female, I'm a woman, I ain't got to prove nothing, I ain't got to outdo a bitch, I ain't got to compete against a bitch with a dick, all that old bullshit, I ain't got to do nothing, I ain't got to call your gender out, I don't have to goddamn say you a man all day, I don't have to do that, mama. Bitches, find something better else to do. Go put a nigga between your legs, bitch, and let him lick your cat till your eyes roll in the back of your cornea, or whatever, or whatever you got, your cerebellum, or whatever back there, go do something productive, go clip your toenails, ho. Find something better else to do. And you bitches who follow me. Let me tell y'all something with this fake ass love. Look, bitch, I am Jaguar Evermore, honey. You can play Scrabble, connect four, pin the tail on the donkey, whose line is it anyway, Jeopardy, Celebrity Squares. You can play all of those games. Dr. Doolittle, you can, girl, you can play all of those games, but you cannot play the mother, okay? Understand that, honey. All right? My trans women, go out there and be great, okay? They got laws and stuff like that to protect you. My females out here, go out here and be great. Stay in your own lane. Don't compete where you ain't got to compare. Okay? Trans men, do the same. Get this shit together. Leave folks alone. Okay? All right? We got to exist together in this world. This is a cruel world as it is. Don't make it no harder for the next bitch. And I see you looking Jaguar Evermore Transmania all the way from Transylvania. Stop creating these dumbass narratives to just to keep the hate and keep division going on between people, between human beings. God damn it, you a human being. I'm a human being. Let's act as such.